So to get started coding, you're going to need to download Sublime Text. It's free. All you need to do is go to sublimetext.com. And when you get here, what I want you to do is just scroll down and you'll see this big blue button on the homepage. Yeah, if you click that, right, it'll download it and it knows which version you need, whether it's for Windows or Mac. And uh, what it does is it downloads it. If you're on a Mac, I'm gonna go to Show to Finder. It will be in your Downloads folder. You know, or you can just double click on it wherever you find it. So here we go, I'm gonna double click it. And I see a lot of students do this incorrectly, but what you wanna do on a Mac with any application is you always wanna drag it to the applications folder, right? So just like that. So just drag this into the applications folder. Don't double click it here. You wanna drag it into your applications folder. So I've done it already, you do that. I'm gonna close this out. And then you should be able to find it in your applications, right? So I have mine here. So if we open that, if we open up Sublime Text, you know you did it correctly if you can see this big black box, okay? This big black box, Sublime Text, is what we will use to code. It's our text editor. Um, you may have heard of other kinds of text editors, right? You're thinking, um, I heard of something called Dreamweaver or TextMate, or uh, there's a bunch of different ones out there. They all do pretty much the same thing. You know, they have different features, whatever, but you, know, you really only need one. This is the best one for you to be using. This is the one I use. This is the one, it's become the industry standard. And also, it's free. You might get a little pop-up sometimes if you haven't paid. You just press escape, it'll go away. Um, but other than that, this is the easiest way for you to start coding HTML and CSS, um, really like the professionals do, and it's the correct way to learn.